Blackboard is your virtual learning environment at the university. You can use it to access learning materials for your modules, submit your assessments online, and get your marks and feedback. You can join online lectures and seminars and interact with your academics and fellow students. It's designed for the mobile experience so that you can access it anywhere and at any time. You can access Blackboard via the Student Hub at www.salford.ac.uk forward slash students and enter your university email address and password. It's a single sign-in process, so you don't have to sign in again to access Blackboard or your Office 365 account, which is available via the App Launcher button in the top left of the screen. Select the Blackboard button to go directly to the activity stream. Now Blackboard also has a great mobile app and there is help on installing it at the end of this video. The activity stream captures all the action in your modules. On the activity stream, you will see up to minute key announcements, activities and upcoming events, such as those all important assessment due dates. Each notification has an icon which indicates the type of communication it is. For example, a loud hailer indicates an announcement. Click on an item in the list and you will be taken into that area of the module to view the item. There is a useful filter option in the top right corner, which you can use to pick out any notifications relating to marks and feedback, for example. The help icon is available on every Blackboard page. And you can use the navigation pane on the left side of the screen at any time to see links to other areas of Blackboard. Blackboard uses notifications to let you know when certain events occur, so that you stay up to date. Notifications include announcements, messages and assessment due dates. They can appear as items in your activity stream, email messages or push notifications on the mobile app. You can change your settings to configure where and how notifications appear by the settings icon on your activity stream. For example, with push notifications, you can extend the notice of upcoming due date reminders. Your profile area within Blackboard. Click on your name in the navigation pane to access your profile area. You can personalize your profile with your photograph and others will see it alongside your name within different areas of Blackboard. There is an option to add your telephone number. We strongly advise against doing this because it would appear across all of your modules and could potentially be seen by the entire school. This feature should only be used by staff. In the modules area, you will find the content for all of the modules that you are enrolled on. This is the module list area. You can view your modules as images or you can view them in a simple list view. Click on the two buttons next to the search box to see which view you prefer. You can pin or favorite the modules that you access the most. By clicking on their star icons, they'll move to the top of the page, giving you quick, easy access to them. To unfavorite a module, just click on the star icon again and the module will return to the module area below. If you have a lot of modules, you can also use the search box to find the one you need. Click on a module to access its content. At the top of the module area, you will see five links. They are content, the module calendar, discussions, grades and messages. In the details and actions area, you can select participants to see a list of everyone on your module. 
You can join your online lectures and seminars from here using the Blackboard Collaborate link. You can access groups if they have been created for your module and you can see any announcements. You can access your module reading list and of course your module content appears in the main part of the page. This is where your academics have provided all of the resources and learning materials. When you click on a page link in Blackboard, it appears in a layer on top of the module content. To close the layer, click on its cross to navigate back to the previous screen in your module. You can always access the icons on the Blackboard navigation pane because it is always just in view at the left hand side of the screen. Different formats of content in Blackboard are available wherever you see the A symbol displayed next to the item, making learning accessible to all. Alternative formats are ideal if you are working on mobile devices or with assistive technologies. They are available alongside the original file, so you find everything in one place. You don't need to do anything to generate the alternative formats. They are already created for you, ready to use. All students have access to the assessment support module in Blackboard. It's highly recommended that you visit this module before you submit your first assessment. It provides information on how to submit your work via Turnitin and Blackboard. There are step-by-step -step videos, including how to submit a draft assessment to Turnitin, how to submit your completed work, and how to access your grades and feedback. Let's explore the five frequently used icons within your modules. We have already visited the first item on the navigation bar, the content area, with its details and actions pane and main module content area. It acts as the home page for the module. The next icon on the nav bar is calendar. When clicking on the calendar button within a module, you see the calendar for that particular module. It is not to be confused with your personal Outlook calendar. Entries are added by your academics to make you aware of events and activities that may be of interest to you and your fellow students. It may display staff office hours and module related meetings and events. One thing it will definitely include is your assessment due dates. Discussions is a space where you can post questions about the module and your academics will provide the answers here so that you and other module members can see the responses. Each module should have a discussion board dedicated to this very purpose, so look out for that. You may find that your question about the module has already been asked and answered here. But if you need to contact your academic on a confidential matter, then don't do it here. Get in touch with them through the Blackboard Messages tool or email them directly. Your academics can make use of discussion boards in other ways. They may set them up to ask you and your fellow students to share your thoughts and ideas about aspects of the module or to demonstrate your understanding of learning materials. And they may set them up where your contributions are graded. The Grades button takes you to your Grades area for the module. Feedback from your academics is also available here. Remember, when grades are posted, you will get a notification in your activity stream. Go to the Assessment Support module for help on accessing your grades and feedback. The Messages tool acts as a messaging system and all message activity takes place inside Blackboard. Your academics will use it to keep you informed about module matters and you can post messages within this space too. When messages are posted, you will get a notification in your activity stream. 
Going back to the Blackboard Navigation pane, you can find other links which relate to all of your modules, including the information link, which provides information from your school and other key university services. The Communities link, which gives you access to selected resource areas which support or complement your teaching and learning. When you select Calendar, Messages and Marks from the Navigation pane, you see content from across all of your modules. For real anytime, anywhere access, the Blackboard Learn mobile app is highly recommended. It gives you quick, easy access to Blackboard and you can get push notifications for important announcements on your activity stream. To install the app, search for Blackboard Learn on the App Store on your device. Install the app called Learn. At the school name prompt, enter Salford University and sign in with your university email address and password. 